Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. Unlock the potential of Amazon selling in 2023 by connecting Helium 10 to your Amazon seller account. This comprehensive tutorial will walk you through the integration process, helping you optimize your e-commerce operations. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, in this specific video, to make that process work, because Amazon doesn't have the integration um, like process or option in their account or the platform, and the same goes for Helium 10. So what are we going to do is to use another apps that can help us connect and integrate these two. In our case, I will introduce to you Zapier. Zapier is a platform that will allow you to connect two different apps together and make them work seamlessly as you like. You can give them any task, anything that you have in mind and make that happen between these two apps as long as they can do it. So for now, we have opened Zapier. You have to connect your account, obviously, and then head up to this left side menu. To get to start with it, we have to add the apps. So click on apps. And here we have to search for the apps that you are going to integrate together. In our case, we have Helium 10. So here it is. Um, like that. Tenth. Let me just fix it. I guess I wrote it wrong. Let me just fix it real quick. And here it is. I have been writing it wrong, guys. Sorry. And this is a process by Helium. Click on it to connect it. So this is the first app. Here, simply, you have to allow Zapier to connect your process by Helium 10th account. You just have to go to your user settings screen from your settings to find your Zapier API key. So this is all you need. Go to that link that they have given you. It is very easy to get to. So here it is. For me, I have to connect to my account. Uh, simply, you can sign up like that and create an account if you don't have already. Sign in with your account and just follow what they have telling you. The same thing goes for Amazon. If you have searched for Amazon, we have to wait a little bit. And here it is. This is Amazon Seller Center, which is basically your seller account. The next thing to do is basically the same as I said in the beginning. Click onto the connect button and here do the same thing. Allow Zapier to access your Amazon Seller Central account. As you can see, the Amazon region has, that hosts your marketplace. If let blank, then the North America region will be used. If you are outside of the North America region, Amazon Cent Central will not allow you to connect. So please fill out this form to let Amazon Marketplace Service team know that you would like to use Zapier with regions outside of the North America. So here simply just choose this one. Let's continue to Amazon Seller Central and simply here make sure to connect to your account. After that, your faced will be faced with a page that will ask you to grant permissions to Zapier. Nothing very uh, like private. It's just some editing and stuff like that. They will not be able to see your personal information. They will not be able to see your password as well. After you grant them the uh, like the permissions, you will find the apps in this app section that you have in your account. Make sure to go to each app of the app that you're going to do or to use, as an example I'm going for this one, and test the connection. If you got this message, which is test successful, that means that the connection is working without any problems. And that means also that the account's connection has been gone successfully. Make sure that both accounts or both apps got the same message. If only one of them got a problem, you will have problems in the Zap creation process. So make sure both are clean and good to go. Right after you finish with these things, go here and click on Create Zap. After you do that, you will be faced with this page. Simply here, this is a text box where you can type a prompt. And the prompt is basically 
a text that describes what you want from the two apps to do. So for example, as they are showing us here, when X happens, do Y, then do Z. So this is the logic that we are going to work on. For example, here, uh, when uh, anything happens on Helium 10, creates or created as a product on my Amazon seller account. Then generate, and just like that, the AI will try to determine what do you want exactly from them to do and they will give you the best zap possible for you and as you can see here automatically create Amazon Sale products from Helium 10 events so this is how it's gonna work so now let's click on try it so now they have given me like random apps here random images uh, because that is I didn't connect my both accounts on Amazon Helium but for you guys you will be connecting them so you can work seamlessly without any problems of course so here you just have to click on the first app and click in the connection so let me show you with this one for example sign in you'll be faced with this page and you will be able to connect uh, this is for new apps but if you followed me from the beginning of the tutorial, you'll find your account that you have connected with already here. You just have to choose from the list that will be appearing to you. And then there will be some triggers that must be tested before you can even turn this task to be on. For example, they will test if there is any product that exists in your Amazon seller account. So you click on test. If they have found any product, you will pass the test. This is the logic behind it. Then you will do the same test with Helium. After that, you can simply publish the task. Make sure to turn it on through this button and then publish it through here and everything will be working seamlessly to you. And guys, as an additional information, make sure that the amount of tasks and zaps that you own in your account are available instead there is some space. For me, I have already unlimited tabs and I have 1k task that I can do. Make sure that you at least have some space for this task since zaps sometimes can be given to you as unlimited in the new account that you create. If you have a premium account, of course you will have more tasks and more zaps to use in your future projects. And for the tasks and zaps, you can check them here in the plans. You can even decide how many tasks you want. For example, you can make it up, go till like 100k task, I think, or 2 million task, but you know, the price is too high to be um, convenient. And yeah, guys, this is simply it about today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.